Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and a warm welcome, or I guess should I say a cold welcome, back to SnowRunner. Today, we're going to be checking out the first new map that has come out for Season Pass owners, and it is in Russia. More specifically, the Kola Peninsula and Lake Kovd. So with this new map, there's two new vehicles somewhere on this location, as well as a bunch of other jobs we can do. And as it always is at the start, we have to kind of explore this area. Um, so we're going to hit some watchtowers here in the old con. And I'm excited to get a new vehicle. Uh, I've got the vast majority of what I would say the cool vehicles are in this game. I'm hoping there's some good ones here. I don't want to spoil it for myself, so I haven't looked them up. And yeah, we're just going to get out here in a very frozen Russia and see what we can find. Okay, but the first one, hopefully this unlocks some points of interest. Uh, we can at least see kind of how this map works. Wow, this is some pretty crazy terrain as you can see. Very hilly landscape. Um, that unlocked a whole lot of nothing. All right, I found this lake. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm still pretty high up here. Um, I think it's looking like I'm going to have to go onto this lake, and then there's a road that goes up to this watchtower, I'm assuming. So, no more trails for me. We're going... Right on a lake, so it shouldn't be too bad, though. I mean, obviously there's a few rocks here, but nothing the can can't handle. Oh my god, this is a beautiful map. I mean, this is already a beautiful game, but uh, at the nighttime, I saw, like, the northern lights and everything. And in the morning time, it's just so damn peaceful. I'm just waiting for a bear to attack me or something. You know what? Just out of morbid curiosity, let's go out on the ice here and see if it does get thin. Like I said, I would love to see some cracking ice. I can't even steer. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. I think it's thick enough. I mean, Russia's pretty cold, so we should be okay out here. Oh, yeah. That's the perfect way. There we go. Ooh, almost flipped it. That's okay. We're doing good. Haven't flipped it yet so far. Russia hasn't been too bad for the big old con. All right, Watchtower. What do you have for me? Any points of interest on this part of the map? I've been promoted. Yay. Well, that's good. I would like to find some vehicle points, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> oh, that was cliffhanging, literally. Jesus. That was the exact same spot I almost flipped on the way up. I should know better. This is looking like ice. Nope, actually, I think it's rock. Okay, well, we'll find out quick. Okay, it's ice. It's ice. Oh, God. You bastard. Even with my big, beefy tires, I, I, can't, I can't get grip. So we might need to get a running start at this. I can't even winch if I wanted to. Oh, ne never mind. I, I lied. Where the hell am I winched to? Oh, behind me? That's not helping! Okay, if I can get into this crack here and slide down. Perfect. Should have maybe found a better way up, but as long as I can grip onto these rocks, we're okay. <laughs> you have to play this game to understand what this feels like, though. It is the weirdest feeling being on ice. Ah, oh, there we go. We made it through, though, and now we're in the fluffy snow, which is great in this game. Okay, so right over here. Yep, as I expected. All right, and I think that's the big three, so it looks like we got another manufacturing plant or something over here. Army reserve. Train carriage? Okay, so at least there's a lot more going on over here. We got a railway station, a splunker. I don't know what a splunker is. Self-contained antique? Um, so there's some jobs we can do. Obviously, I'm focused more on the vehicles, though. I mean, if we have to do a job, that's fine. I might go to the outskirts of the map, though, and kind of look around. Those watchtowers... Obviously didn't unlock the whole map here. Um, it looks like there's actually quite a bit of the map that's not open. I wonder what's this on thin ice, though. Um, that could be a vehicle unlock. Then again, sometimes you just have to recover vehicles for jobs, too. So, yeah, I think the watchtowers are deceiving, because um, check out where Rural Splunker is. Uh, I think a lot of this map, you're going to have to just get out there and explore yourself. So, I'm a little worried. That means uh, it's going to be really hard to find these vehicles. I'm going to do my best, but we might not find both today. I went back to the garage to refuel. Um, I'm going to head out to Rural Sp Splunker and see what that's all about. Okay, and yeah, this is just all lake over here. We even got, like, a building across the lake. I don't know if we can make it across there. It does look like we can probably drive over there. There is some water... Looks to be right to the right of me, but if we stay on the ice here, we should be okay. This is crazy. What an amazing map. I don't like not having watchtowers, though. All right, so for Rural Splunker, maybe this is kind of pointing me towards the, r the right direction. There are plenty of houses here that have been empty since the war. You never know what you may find. Those places, a flask, a helmet, some personal belongings. If you see an interesting spot, please let me know. Now, is it going to show me points of interest? Um, I'm going to accept that. 
Okay, so yeah, we got a bunch of different things around here, and this is a really good pay, so why not do this while we're exploring? So we're gonna explore all these areas, and I'm hoping one of these areas will have a truck that we can grab. Problem is, how the hell are we gonna get to these places? Oh great, is this a river? I did not expect to see a river here. Um, oh man, of course. Like, the first thing we go to, this clearly used to be a road. Thankfully, it's not that deep, so we should be okay. Oh. Oh! Is that it? That's gotta be one of them. Oh! I got it! Okay, so that is... Talk about lucky. That was not intentional. People are not gonna believe me. But I figured these were gonna show some points of interest. That is one of the trucks. Um, it looks to be like a lightweight cargo thing that can hold one piece of cargo. Looks like I can actually change to it, and there we go. Out of fuel, unfortunately, um, but I should be able to send this thing back if we uh, just recover. So let's recover that, and bam! There we go, we got the first truck. Thank God, we at least found one of them. Now the other truck, I know, is a lot more interesting though. So this one, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it, but it looks, looks like a typical Russian truck. Um, so we're gonna get back out to my Tuz, because we're out in the middle of nowhere right now. Try and finish up this quest, hopefully we find another one. Also, our first trailer find is here. There's supposed to be some new satellite trailer as well. Hopefully, I can do one of those quests, because I would really like to try that. Uh, like, the seismic vibrator was pretty cool, and it looks like it's going to be kind of like that one. Um, where the frig is this <laughs> cabin? Oh, there it is. That looks like a very easy place to get to. Now, I wonder if I pass this rock face, if I can go down over there. Because I really don't want to go through that forest. That's going to be a slight nightmare, so... Yeah, I guess we'll try this rock face out and see if we can't kill ourselves. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Jeez, let's slow it down a bit. Yep, there it is. Can we just spot it from here? That would be great. Oh my god, I'm getting a little bit of anxiety here. Thankfully, it's not like leaning towards the side, so we should be okay as long as we go nice and slow. Oh, there's a road to it? Of course there is. I just took the hard way, I guess. I mean, calling this a cabin is arguable at this point. It's more rubble than anything else. Really? Why the hell is there a rock right at the end? Okay, we did one. Only four more to do. <laughs> oh, I thought that was ice. This is somewhat ice, it looks like. Thankfully, it wasn't deep or I would be dead by now. I just kind of ran right on it. Oh yeah, it's breaking. It's doing what I wanted. Oh God, I'm horrified now though. Okay, okay, this is very thin ice. Problem is I have to get to the other side to get to this next area, so I'm gonna have to cross this. Um, it's looking like this should be pretty easy here. Yeah, that's just actually water. That, that, that wasn't bad at all. What is this? Foreigner discovered? What, me? I mean, technically, I am in Russia. <laughs> There's a foreign tourist. He really wants to see some of the live history. Um, wait. Oh, <gasps> that's the other truck! Yes, we will accept that because we get the truck by helping him. Clearly, doing this quest was the right choice, guys, because it's led me to the two vehicles that I wanted to find. Oh, why is why is this working out so well? Usually in this game, I'm I'm flipped over, I'm stuck in mud. Ah, oh, this is just great. There's another quest here too. Now, where was I going? Oh, I'm like way off. Talk about lucky. I I'm way off, <laughs> and I get the truck that I want. Well, at least the quest to get the truck that I want. Um, all right. Well, I guess we'll just go this way. Oh, we're in the thick snow now. I'm hardly freaking moving. Um, we might have to throw it in low finally. Throw that diff lock on. That's not gonna help too much, though. What? The, is this mud snow? Like, this is brutal. Ugh. It's hard to be mad, though, when there's a view like that behind me. Jesus. All right, so we gotta get up here. I at least know where it is. Is this the best way to get to it? Maybe I should've went around that way. That's probably the entrance point, isn't it? Uh, the road just kinda ends here, and it's like, hey, here's a giant snow bank. Enjoy it. I'm gonna continue going this way. I've gone too far at this point. I'm just gonna go off-roading. The irony is, I'm moving faster when I get off the road. <laughs> well, we got it. Three more to do. Is there any more at this part of the map? Yeah, we gotta go to the lake cabin on the other side. Thing is, I'm getting low on gas, so I think I'm gonna have to regas this. Um, and then we'll maybe do that one. Oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, don't, don't, don't go fast on ice, because steering's damn near impossible. <laughs> I have halved my suspension by one hit. <laughs> Well, that's gotta be the house. We're up by the lighthouse now that I said. Well, it's, I don't think it's a lighthouse, but there's some sort of thing up here. 
Um, this is once again another island. I don't think this is connected to the other one, so... God, this map is just remarkable. If this is anything to go by with the new maps that are going to be coming out, fantastic. Way better than the starting maps, in my personal opinion. Okay, well, this is actually a house, so we we finally actually have a house. That's that's fantastic. Now we just need two more, and they're on the other side of the map. Can I break in here? Oh my god, I can. I am so sorry. I didn't actually expect that would do that. Um, you got a nice place. Sorry, I freaking ruined it. I gotta get out of here now. I'm so sorry. Goddamn foreigners breaking everything. See ya. Uh. Okay. Only in Russia would this be considered a freaking road. I don't know. If I'm not. I don't want to go down there. Oh my god. It's, this is stupid. Are you serious? There's a fence over here? Better be able to get through. I decided to take the river way because I thought it'd be easier terrain wise. The irony is, you know, rocky rivers are easier than Russia wilderness. And I think uh, we can get in here. Okay. There's the final one the ruined warehouse. Ah. Okay, I was gonna go refill because, um, well, this is a big map and I use a lot of fuel to get around, but I still got 30 liters. That might be enough to just kind of check out the F-150, or sorry, the F-750. Um, it's out here. Now, this is obviously an area I haven't explored. It might be through that trail. This might open up to another river, though, because there's a river here, so I'm gonna explore that way. See if maybe we can follow the river or if we gotta go through the trails on that one island, so... Yeah, back out to the river we go, and we'll just explore for a little bit, hopefully reaching that Ford truck. Well, looks like we got a broken bridge on this side of the river. We might need to repair that. That's probably going to be a big job to do. We're still 870 me meters away. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be the trail over here, but I'm going to continue down this way, see where this goes. I need to work on your telephone infrastructure here, just saying. Man, I don't think you're going to get signal anymore. <laughs> and did I ever go the wrong way? I'm in a mud hole. This is brutal. Can I get up here? Ah, oh, throat and low. Yep. There we go. Come on, you can do it. That is a big-ass snowbank with mud underneath it. That That's fun to deal with. Like, the trees are so deep. I just winched to one, and it just fell into the snow. Like, they're not even on top of the snow. I might fall into the snow. I'm trying to get that telephone pole. There we go. That's what I need. It's not even connected to it, but I'm not going to question it. Get me through this crap. Okay, I'm getting really low on fuel. I might just reach the truck, but I got to obviously bring the truck. So I'm just kind of looking for a tr the best trail to get there. So at least we can explore it right now. Um, there's, there is trails here, which is good. It's not in the middle of nowhere. But they're not easy trails. By far the worst terrain I've seen yet on this map. And that's surprising to say the least. Because this has been some brutal terrain. Um, so it looks like it's out. It might be. Oh, I think it's in the river. Okay, we might not need to take these trails then. This river might connect to the actual big frozen river. This one's obviously not frozen. But, yeah, we just got to get through over here. All right, and there's the big old beast. So, yeah, it's actually... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's actually stuck in the river. Um, that is a deep part of the river, too. So that's just fantastic. Um, gotta say, that's gonna be a great truck to have, though. So show task. Man, it is all beat up. Jesus, look at this poor thing. Um, okay, so the north camp. Okay, so it's this place right here. So I'm thinking we definitely gotta connect to that road. It looks like it connects to right here, possibly. Unfortunately, this is in a mud hole. This is gonna be a hard one to pull out. I guess I can start trying to pull out, pull it out until I run out of gas. And yeah, I'm gunning on the best way to be right over here towards this somewhat of a trail. Uh, maybe I should just go over there and unlock that. You know what? I'm going to do that instead. Uh, I want to do this right because maybe this might wrap around too. I, I honestly don't know. So yeah, that goes to this, which is a trail. Mind you, it's uphill. Uh, but that should connect over to that trail, I'm assuming. We're going to go figure that out. Always plan out your routes before you start towing a big heavy truck somewhere because the last thing you want to do is have to go the other way and tow it somewhere and totally screw up. So, oh, is this... Oh, this is the bridge that's broken, isn't it? Ah, no, that's actually some sort of military base. Okay, so we're good. At least I know now that connects to that. That will connect down to that. And we should at least have a way to get all the way back. A trail, that is. But it's going to be fun getting it out of this. So the big question is, do I go the easy route and then the far way around... 
I don't even know which way I would go that way, or do I pull it through this river that I just went through? Uh, that's gonna be fun regardless. All right, well, let's get it started and see where we can go with this. So I don't got much gas left. Actually, what's it looking like for gas? It does have fuel tanks on the back. Unfortunately, I cannot change to it because it's technically broken down. So I can't even use those fuel tanks. Great, that, that's fun. So I got three liters of fuel to hopefully pull this. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. All right, obviously we wanna turn this thing around. And we're out of fuel. I still have no idea which way I'm gonna go here. Ah, <sighs> cause I've already gotten stuck. I've already had issues and we haven't even moved it. Hardly. Oh Jesus. Oh God, that's horrifying. All right, well, we're trying something a little bit more heavy duty. Problem with this is it's a big guzzling beast. If we can get there, should be able to pull it quite easily because of the weight behind this. But uh, the big question is, will that 300 liters of fuel last long enough using seven liters a minute without all wheel drive on? Once we throw it in all wheel drive, it uses like 13, 14. Well, this seems safe now, doesn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> How am I gonna do this while pulling a truck? Doesn't help that the ice that used to hold me does not hold this big truck either, so... I'm just breaking all the trails that I was going to try and use. Oh, this is so frustrating. Um, well, we're close to the truck at least. I have no idea. I think I might have to go up to this main road. Then, then again, I have to go all the way around the whole freaking map to get back to where I was. This is obviously the way I wanted to go. But there's nothing easy. Maybe we should just take a risk and go up here and see what happens. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause yeah, going through the river when you're breaking the river, not the safest thing. Well, we made it to it with half a tank of fuel. The big question is, is that river gonna break on me too? Um, there's no easy way to do this one. Obviously the whole point for is for this to be extremely difficult. Generally new trucks are, especially cool ones like this. Um, so I'm gonna try and head up Maybe we can get out here. It looks like we can probably make our way up to the main road. Obviously, the main road's gonna be amazing if we can get there. Big question is, how hard is it gonna be to pull this thing with this? Let's find out. A hell of a lot easier. Okay, it was worth it to bring this thing here. <laughs> Look at the trail I'm making. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you can't win. You either have too light of a truck that gets no grip or a heavy enough truck that breaks the ice. They, they clearly have thought about this, so now I just gotta figure out how to get up this freaking mountain. There we go, slow and steady wins the race. Come on, get up to that road. Hopefully that truck doesn't get stuck. I might need to unwench it here. This is freaking crazy. Oh my God, and it's a tunnel. I'm assuming to the next part of the map, so this probably wasn't the way to go. At least we got it on a main road. We might just follow this road all the way around. Because there's no freaking way I'm going through that again. Oh, okay, so let's check the map once again now that we're on this main road. So we could technically at least bring it down to here. And the problem is to get to the other main road, it's going to take so long. And it's not really a road. It's more of a river, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe trying to go to this road might be a good idea. It looks rather big. And obviously that's not part of the map we've explored, but I'm assuming that goes over to here. I don't know. One thing is I definitely want to avoid the majority of the lake. So let's just try this. If I have to reset it, I have to reset it. But I'm learning as we're going here. This thing can at least pull this. I know that. All right. I'm going to take a risk here. Change of plans. This trail really isn't that bad. So I'm going to go down this trail. I'm assuming this cuts out to here. That's gonna keep me nice and close to it so I don't have to wrap all the way around to the main road. Because the main road really isn't a road at all. It just kind of breaks off after a while. So, hopefully we can keep going. We're down to 98 liters of fuel. Um, we are gonna have to refuel. Unfortunately, there's no fuel stations on this map. The only one is at the garage. So I gotta come back out here if we do run out of fuel. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, we got through that piece, but look at this. This is what I was worried about. The, the trails in this... I mean, trail is arguable as per usual. Thank God there's a log down there. I might be able to actually get some grip. I might bottom out here. Oh, well, only one way to find out. Jesus Christ. Thank God this thing has six wheels. Can you get through? That's the bigger question here. You might take some damage, but no big deal. Ah, oh, no big deal at all. Okay, just, just driving down a mountain, essentially. This is a trail, by the way. 
Maybe I should have stayed on the on the main road. Thank God for this articulated trailer, or I would have bought him out about a million times by now. <laughs> this is so fun, though. All right, I actually made it in quick time there. That wasn't too bad. Um, once we're not stuck in mud, this thing can go pretty damn fast. So the big question is, what do we do from here? Should we follow the river? I feel like following it to here and then going up this is probably my best bet. Then I got to go over that mountain pass, though. So no, let's actually skip that. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Um, so maybe I should just follow it this way. It clearly wraps back around. Problem is, if we break ice again, that's gonna be fun. But once we get to here, obviously, it's smooth sailing. And yeah, we're already, oh my god, deja vu. Maybe I should stick to the coastline then. Ugh. This is why I didn't want to go to the river. So yeah, we're gonna stick to the river, but stick to the coastline of the river. It's hard to gauge where exactly the coastline is sometimes, though. Ah, uh, and there we go, we're out of feel. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we're back in refield. Let's get this going. Now, I came from this way, so I at least kind of know the way I need to go now. And it's not easy, but it's doable. I mean, obviously, I got here, so I can get out of here as well. So yeah, this ice does not hold me. Um, you can see where I decided to test it right there. It is extremely deep. I almost killed my truck there, so... The big question is, how am I going to cross this? I got to find these shallow areas. Um, this is the part that I knew was going to be difficult. I could also go up and go around. That might be our best idea. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's actually do that. Uh, you know what? We might actually be able to make it here, too. As long as I stay out of the blue areas, I think we're okay. And I don't want to waste too much time. Again, I only have so much gas. So, yeah, there's like this rocky terrain area. We should be okay through here. This truck's got pretty big suspension, so I'm thinking as long as we kind of follow these safe areas here, we might make it through. Alright, that was clearly the way to go. That was no problem at all. Damaged the old truck a little bit, but as long as its engine's on, on, that's great. Uh, now, uh, there is fuel in that truck. I could have grabbed fuel out of that, but it's driving as well right now, so it's helping me, so I want to keep the fuel in there for as long as possible. Um, yeah, we were able to cross that dangerous part. There, There it is right there. And now, I think we should actually make it. I can't bl- Oh, Jesus, let- <laughs> The moment I say something. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, it's safe over here. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, the final stretch. Just gotta make it up here. Hopefully this isn't too deep of mud. Probably will be. I mean, it, it generally is. And then, bam, look at that. Oh, wow. That was one way to take this, so we went. We went all the way through here, so it really wasn't too bad. Obviously, the way I was originally going to go was a little bit shorter, but I think that was one of the best routes you could take. There was no easy way to grab this thing. And the final stretch here is probably going to be extremely difficult with all these rocks. Okay, that's what I like to see, though. A nice and wide trail. With this big thing, 90% of the trails I can't even go down, <laughs> so thank God this trail isn't too bad. We just got some giant boulders here, but those aren't going to stop me. Might stop the truck behind me, but so far that thing's been an absolute beast. As long as it's got some weight to pull it, it doesn't stop at all either. All right, the final stretch. Of course, we're in some really deep snow. Let's throw some diff lock on just in case we do get stuck because there's no uh, trees around here. Wouldn't that be the worst, getting stuck like right here? Let's not jinx it, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Ha! Huh. We did it, you big boy! So now I can check out this truck and see if it's worth it, because uh, that was easily the hardest extraction I've had. And I've had a few hard ones, but um, nothing like that. I had to bring out the old cat to get it done, so yeah. I probably could have done it done it with the Tuz 422, but that would have been too easy. Oh, there we go. Accept it. Thank you. Give me the damn truck now. God, is it actually going to always be this destroyed? Um, clearly it's obviously just seen better days. Look at the size of this thing, though. Now, I wonder how much we can customize it. That's the question. Let's take it back. Oh, it looks so much better in, in the, um, in the shop. So we're gonna customize this and just kind of check out what it's got going on here. So obviously we can get some much bigger engines. Um, I don't have a lot of the unlocks, so we'll definitely want to get some of these later for this thing. Because this is, could, could be a really good scout truck that should be able to hold some stuff as well. We can get some big old tires on this. Yeah, so we have a bunch of frame add-ons, which is fantastic. Um, custom pickup bed, small roof rack, utility mount, 
flat bed, so we can store on this. So this would be a good all-arounder. We can even get a crane on it. Um, kind of like a scout uh, hauler hybrid. Got a bunch of fog lights as well. Um, some different bumpers. Whoa, look at that thing. This is... The amount of customization you can do in this is fantastic. Ah, let's 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 paint it red. So yeah, I can't customize it too much just yet, but um, yeah, there it is in all its glory, and that has got to be the biggest pickup truck I have ever seen. I mean, it's a Ford F750, so kind of to be expected. Now, can we use those tires? So yeah, we actually got a bunch of stuff in the inventory here. Um, we can use the pickup bed, and then we have 545 points of repair. So that's actually fantastic. This is a great all-around all truck. I want to actually check out the other one as well. But let's see how good this thing is at driving for a little bit here. Very slow. I, I will say that. And obviously with these base tires on it, it's probably not going to be too good at off-roading. But um, yeah, once you get some stuff installed, yeah, you definitely don't want to off-road on this when it's stock. I am already basically stuck. Great. Is there anything I can wench to? Of course not. Now this guy I can actually customize quite a bit. So yeah, let's throw this engine on this. We're gonna purchase this. Hopefully it's worth it. I, this should be a good all, all arounder as well. Um, Off-road gearbox. Yeah, we'll throw that on it. I'm gonna spend all my money. I don't have too much money right now. Unfortunately, I don't have the raised suspension. Do I have any tires? Thank God I can get some damn tires on this thing. So yeah, let's get the 43 inchers. Um, I couldn't get the chains or anything. There's so many tires you can get in this. Now, I could get this, but that's going to use all my money. I don't need a better winch. Um, spare wheel, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? Diff lock is automatically engaged. we got a maintenance frame, sideboard, fuel carrier, loading crane, and roof rack. I was hoping to see the new frame add-on as well. Like I said, there's some sort of satellite dish. Obviously, it's not for this one, though. All right, but yeah, I like this thing. It's so small, but you can hold cargo with it. This would be another great scout, I think, here, especially with this high ground clearance. Obviously, I'll have to test it a little bit to actually, you know, confirm that, but it does feel like it's going to be a really good off-roading vehicle, as Russian vehicles generally are. So, I'm going to wrap this one up here, guys. I was hoping to do a little bit more, but uh, extracting that final Ford F750 uh, was not easy, to say the least. But yeah, my goal today was to get the new trucks for you guys. We got those, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see some more of this? I would love to try some jobs here because, well, there's still a lot of the map we need to explore, as you can see. And I really want to see that new satellite mechanic. So if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, until then, we'll wrap up this one here. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.